Good evening, Raspberry Heads. Today we're going to be talking about how to add games to your RetroPie image, so get ready. All right, so first things first, we're gonna to go to the RetroPie uh, selection here, and you are going to essentially try to get your IP address. Uh, you need this because as long as you're on the same network at your house, uh, you will be able to access the RetroPie as long as it's on and you have the uh, IP address. So what you'll wanna do is go down and select show IP and you will jot that number down uh, there'll be a series of numbers and dots, and that is your IP address. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain uh, what all that is, but once you have that down, what you're going to want to do is uh, get your Windows PC up and running, and we are going to uh, launch that Explorer window. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that and do that. All right, guys, so once you've got your PC connected to your same Wi-Fi network that your Raspberry Pi is on, just open up an Explorer window and type in backslash backslash RetroPi. If this doesn't work, uh, you can do backslash backslash and then your IP address that you jotted down from the Raspberry Pi. Once you've done that, uh, you are going to push enter and it might uh, ask you for a login and your user is going to be, uh, uh, it's gonna be Pi, and then your password's gonna be Raspberry. So what I did wrong here is I need uh, capital uh, letters. So retro Pi, we're gonna hit enter here. All right, if uh, RetroPie doesn't uh, register, then what you'll do is you'll do the backslash backslash and then the IP address that you got from the Raspberry Pi. Now the username is Pi and your password is Raspberry. And once you've done that, you'll have access to the SD card. So from here, you can basically drag and drop the files that you need, and uh, you can organize it, edit the files, whatever you need to, and uh, it will be showing up on your SD card, which is pretty amazing. So it might take a second, but there you go. There's uh, BIOS, there's configures, ROMs, and splash screens. And just like anything else, you can just open up the folder and you can edit the files uh, as you wish. So. That is how you add uh, files to your SD card or your image. And that is that. So I hope that helps you guys and check out the playlist. It has the, you know, the Raspberry Pi playlist that I've got. It's got basically my entire setup, uh, walking through it in order. So if you're a complete noob like I am, uh, you will have at least the setup up and running and usable. So. Uh, that is the Raspberry Pi project, and I hope that helped you guys.